Hurricane Earl is the second major hurricane of the year, and it is forecast to come very close to the East Coast. Meteorologist Andrew Tutt joins us now with more on Earl and how it relates to what storms have done in the past. Andrew? Well, Earl does remain a major hurricane. It is Category 4 in strength. And we'll take a look at the wind speeds right now at 132 miles per hour. So here is the hurricane to the north of the Dominican Republic. It is to the east of the Bahamas here. And it kind of continues to move off in a fashion to the northwest with the pressure at 940 millibars. So let's cut to the chase, get to the forecast. It continues to move northwest and then kind of starts to turn away from the east coast here. But we could start to see the outer banks, east coast of North Carolina, a place like Cape Hatteras could be impacted by this hurricane. Good news is it would likely at this time, the way things look, it would be the outer portions of the hurricane that would influence places like Cape Hatteras. You get closer to the eye, that's where the wind speeds are a bit stronger. Then this continues to move to the northeast, but again, could eventually impact places like New York and Cape Cod. So it's certainly something that we will continue to watch. But the path of what we're seeing with Earl, what we're forecasting for Earl, not uncommon for what we typically do see in terms of hurricane frequency during August. We see that path just like Earl. One other common trend is another path cuts through the Caribbean up toward Texas and western portions of Louisiana. But let's get back to the East Coast. And one state that sees a lot of hurricanes, number two on the list behind Florida, is actually North Carolina. Maybe a bit of a surprise, but Cape Hatteras will see a hurricane come within 75 miles of Cape Hatteras. Happens once every three years for Charleston, once every five years. Meanwhile, New York City sees it once every 10 years. Mark, Michelle.